Setsu is Japan's new dreadnought in update 2.1, new power, and their only dreadnought in the update. It's a powerful vessel with various weapon systems, and most interestingly, a mismatched set of main cannons. So, how does it stack up against the numerous dreadnoughts, cruisers, and aircraft that it has to face? First, some history on Setsu. It was the second and last ship of the Kawachi class battleships, a design with a similar gun layout to Germany's early dreadnoughts. Setsu was laid down in 1909 and finished in 1912. It participated in the Siege of Tsingtao, which was the first time Japanese and German forces engaged each other. After World War I, Setsu was disarmed due to the Washington Naval Treaty and used as a target ship. During World War II, Setsu was crippled by American carrier aircraft and eventually scrapped in 1947. In War Thunder, the Setsu comes with 12 305mm guns. The fore and aft turrets are 50 caliber, while all the side turrets are 45 caliber. The 50 caliber guns have a higher velocity. This means that the shells from the 45 caliber guns land slightly later, which can potentially spread the damage of a salvo out over more of the target's hull, though normally it has a minimal effect. Their fire rate of two shells per minute is about average for the early dreadnoughts, with the dispersion of the shells also being quite average. The Setsu's main guns get two shell types, HE and APC. The HE shells are effective against ships such as destroyers and smaller cruisers, while the APC shells are better for more heavily armored vessels like larger cruisers and dreadnoughts. The Setsu's APC shells are notably very powerful, having both the highest penetration and explosive filler out of all the armor-piercing shells on any current dreadnought. The lack of semi-armor-piercing ammunition notably makes it worse against more medium ships. However, the powerful APC ammo does give it the best chance to penetrate other dreadnoughts. The Setsu's secondary guns consist of 10 152mm cannons, 8 120mm cannons, 12 76mm cannons, and 4 7.92mm machine guns. The larger cannons provide an excellent tool for taking out destroyers and smaller cruisers, while the smaller cannons can put out enough shells to threaten aircraft. 152mm and 120mm guns can be manually controlled at the same time, providing an effective pressure tool while the main cannons reload. The high explosive ammo on the 152s is powerful against lighter ships, and the AP can do some damage to cruisers, however, they're unlikely to do much of note to dreadnoughts. The 76mm cannons do have airburst ammunition, but they have poor elevation, which makes them only useful against aircraft that come in with very low approaches, such as torpedo bombers. The Setsu is survivable enough against aircraft that that's not much of a concern, however. Last for weaponry comes Setsu's torpedoes. It has five underwater torpedo tubes positioned at the stern, with two on each side of the ship, and a fifth aiming backwards. The torpedoes themselves are relatively weak, having low speeds, low range, and low damage. However, they can be useful against other battleships at close range when set to the 4 meter depth setting, so they're worth keeping around for that scenario. In survivability, the Setsu is also quite good. It has the thickest belt of any of the new dreadnoughts, though it does lack a turtle back armor scheme. The elbow is beneath the waterline, and the barbettes of the turrets are quite thick. The coal bunkers at the midsection of the ship provide effective protection for the crew against most penetrations. Overall, the Setsu is a very tanky ship, and seems to be slightly above average as far as the dreadnoughts go. Last comes mobility. The 39 km per hour top speed is very average for a dreadnought. It's quite slow, struggling to dodge torpedoes or reach cap zones, though in normal matches these falls aren't very noticeable. In enduring confrontation, it may be a crippling weakness, however. For playstyle, the Setsu is a pretty standard dreadnought. That's not to say it's bad, however. It's a well-balanced ship without major weaknesses and provides a good baseline of standard performance for the new dreadnoughts. The Setsu can survive a hefty beating from surface combatants and aircraft alike, and has powerful armor-piercing ammunition to help fight other large ships. I would recommend closing the distance toward enemies constantly, using the high survivability to get into close range, though also keeping an eye out for torpedoes and changing headings to throw off torpedo snipes. At close range, Setsu's high armor performs at its best, and the powerful APC shells can consistently be used to destroy the ammo racks of enemy cruisers or cripple opposing dreadnoughts. Manually controlling the secondary guns can also increase your damage output substantially. By swapping to the secondaries with Alt and 2 while the main guns reload, you can put out a few salvos while waiting for the main guns to reload, then swapping back to the main guns with Alt and 1 once they're finished. This applies to most of the other dreadnoughts too. The Setsu's largest strength is its powerful AP shells, which give it an advantage in dreadnought fights as it's more likely to penetrate targets and deal more damage afterwards. The largest weakness is the same as other dreadnoughts, being very slow and vulnerable to torpedoes. For modifications, I would recommend this order. Toolset, 
fire protection system, 12 inch APC, rudder replacement, shrapnel protection, ventilation, propeller replacement, ammo wetting, and engine maintenance. For crew skills, prioritize leadership, main caliber reload speed, courage changeability, fire prevention, and ship control. Thank you for watching. I have many more dreadnoughts to cover, and over the next few weeks I'm going to be making tons of content on them, so be sure to subscribe to see that as soon as possible.